Hi, mommy. Hey, Disco. You're just staring at the door. You want me to come in? Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. You get your toy? You gonna show me? Is that your bone? Is that your bone? Is that your bone? Yeah. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Hi guys, good morning. This is Tiffany. And I know you all recognize our beautiful girl Disco. I had to do another video of her because she's breaking my heart being stuck here. I come in every morning to see her and uh, we lay on this ottoman here or this futon, whatever it is, and she lays down, and I give her a massage, and I rub her whole back and her belly, and she just lays there, and she loves every minute of it, and every once in a while, she'll turn around and look at me and give me the sweetest little kiss because she's so happy. She's just so happy to have company and to have somebody be with her. Pretty girl. Albert. Shh. It's Albert in the other room. Hi, Mommy. What you doing? Disco we've had for three long years trying to find the perfect home and the perfect fit for her. I don't understand. Every time I look at her, I don't understand why it's taking so long. She does have to be the only pet, but we have had so many other dogs that needed to be the only pets that have come and gone and found loving forever homes. We've even had dogs that had to be the only pet that also had some other issues, like they weren't men friendly or they you know, weren't children friendly or you know whatever the issue was and they found forever loving homes. I don't understand why the right person has not come forward for our beautiful Disco. She's got no issues. No issues. She just needs to be the only pet. That's it. She's completely housebroken. She's non-destructive. This is what she does. She wants to cuddle on the couch with her person. She wants to cuddle in bed with her person. She is um, an American Bulldog mix. So for anybody that is familiar with the bully breeds, they do like to do their zoomies. So Disco would be amazing with a fenced in yard so that she could go out once or twice, run around the yard real quick for maybe five minutes tops. That's all she's got in her. Um, and then she'd be pooped out or somebody that doesn't have a fenced yard but is active and doesn't mind taking her for a little jog or a fast walk in the neighborhood in the morning before the sun really comes out and at night um, after the sun goes in. That would be perfect for her too. Um, she's, she's easy in every other sense of the word. She loves every single person she meets Seriously, I don't think she's ever met a person she didn't like. Um, she's good with children. Um, we say older children just because of her size. Uh, you know, we would be worried about her knocking over a toddler accidentally, of course. But, you know, she's a big girl. Come on. Albert, shh, I'm trying to do a video over here. This is what she does. This is what she does all day. She stares at the door with her nose pressed, just waiting. 
You know how heartbreaking this is to see her do this? Especially when, if I sometimes, <clears throat> after she's had loving from me, um, I'll go sit on the futon and I'll beg her to come sit with me. And she won't. She'll just do this. Because she just, she just doesn't want to be here. She wants to be in home. She wants to be laying on a couch with her person. She wants to go for car rides. She wants to sleep in bed with her person and watch movies. This is, this is our reality of, of looking at her every day and it's, it's destroying all of us. And she's such a good girl. And she's so smart. You wanna show them your tricks? You want to show them your tricks? Yeah? Do you want to? Yeah? Come up here. Good girl. Ready? Ready? I'm going to show the tricks because we're very smart. Touch. Good girl. Get a little treat for that. Good girl. Ready? High five. Look. High five. Come on, high five. Don't make me a liar on the camera. Let's see. Ready, touch. That's <laughs> high five. Come on, you want this? High five. There you go, that's my girl. That's my girl. Good girl, Disco, ready, touch. High five. High five. Come on. No? You just want to make sure that you're going to get something to do it. You're too smart. Touch. High five. Come on. You were doing it earlier. Come on, Mama. High five. High five. Disco. High five. No? You don't want to do it today? You don't want to do it today? You depressed? We hadn't done it in a while and I did it with her yesterday and she did it a bunch of times. I taught her that months ago. She learned it immediately. Ready? Touch. High five. No. You hear people outside the door. That's where your attention is. You hear people outside the door. She is very, very, very smart. She is very eager to learn. She is very loving. She is very affectionate. She is very housebroken. She is very much the sweetest, most perfect dog. She does need to be on, the only pet in the home, but she is not the type of dog that is going to react badly walking on a leash. She's She's not the type of dog that you can't take to breakfast. She's been um, several volunteers and crew members brunch date over the years um, or lunch. Um, she, Johnny's taken her <clears throat> to work several times. Um, our, our amazing volunteer Johnny, he's, he's got the ability to take dog to work and he's taken her to work several times and then he takes her out to lunch and she's an angel. She's just, she's a perfect dog that just hasn't been given a chance. So I'm begging. She's been in several foster homes. Um, <clears throat> the fosters <clears throat> loved her. Um, she was in a long-term um, foster that w wasn't a constant. She would come back and forth, but they were doing it for a very long time. It was a wonderful family um, that they loved her very much. And the only reason they didn't adopt her was because their entire living situation changed. The kids moved away and went to college. The husband always traveled and the wife ended up um, selling the house and moving up to be near the kids in college into an apartment um, so they couldn't take Disco. But if that wasn't the case, they would have adopted her. Um, they loved her. 
We also have our amazing Jennifer and Caitlin who have taken Disco several times. They've taken Disco when she had to have her surgeries and nursed her back to health, um, her, her ACL surgeries. And they have taken her other times as well. And they absolutely love her. They say how perfect she is. She's amazing in a home. Um, they cannot keep her because um, there is another dog in the picture that comes and goes. So unfortunately they cannot adopt Disco because of that. Um, but they sing her praises constantly. Everybody that meets this girl loves her. She forms a special bond with every single person that she comes in contact with because she is that special. She lives, lives to be with somebody. She loves her car rides. Sometimes we try to take her for a walk and she puts the brakes on. It's hysterical. She'll just throw herself down on the ground like she's basically having a temper tantrum because she wants to get in the car and go for a ride. She doesn't want to go for a walk. Disco, please don't do that, Mama. Oh yeah, there's Caitlin. She is the best, isn't she, Caitlin? Caitlin's on here, that's who I was talking about. It's Caitlin and her mom, Jennifer, who have um, fostered Disco several times, gotten her through her ACL surgeries, um, and they take her when, when they can. And um, they have nothing bad to say about her. They said she's, she's perfect. She's just a loving, loving, affectionate dog. Disco, please don't do that. Come here. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Come lay with me. Hi. Come here. Come here. Marcus. Mm -hmm. That's my good girl. That's a good girl. I know. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Hold on, let me back up. And how you're doing it. Touch. High five. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> that's my girl. Didn't feel like doing it before. You heard people outside the room preoccupied. You want to do it again? You want to do it again? I can back up a little bit, get a better view. Okay. Oops. Ready, mommy? Touch. High five. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> so I'm begging once again, um, as I sat here with her this morning and basically was just laying in tears, um, giving her her morning massage and just seeing the look on her face and, and how happy she was that I was in the room with her and laying with her and giving her attention, but she was, she still longs for more. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. You know you're gorgeous. You know I love you. So please guys, please share Disco. If you've never shared one of our videos before, please make this the one that you do. Even if she is not the right dog for you, we say it all the time, sharing actually saves lives. Even if you can't adopt or foster or donate, doing something as simple as hitting the share button could be the one thing that you do that saves a dog's life. Because somebody on your friends list or somebody on your friend's friends or friend's friend's friends, four chains down, could see this video and fall in love and think that Disco is the dog for them and contact us. I've said it on several videos before. 
you never know who you're going to reach. I can't tell you how many times we've asked adopters, uh, how did you hear about us? And, um, you know, where did you see the video or how did you hear about us? And people will say, I didn't even know your organization existed. It was a friend of mine uh, that posted it or the video just came across my news feed. You know, people that didn't even know about our organization just happened to see a video come across their news feed and that's how they found us and found their dog. So please, please, please share our beautiful disco. Three years is way too long to be waiting for the perfect loving home. What do you hear? You hear, you hear people in the hallway? All she wants to do is cuddle. Yep, Caitlin, that is, it's all she wants to do. She wants a cuddle partner and she wants somebody to take her for car rides. Right, right. You're so gorgeous and you're such a good girl and you're so smart. So this is Disco, guys. If you're interested in meeting her, you can send us an email to 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com or you can call us at 877 506 8100 to meet Disco. There isn't a person around who has met this dog and not fallen completely head over heels in love with her and her sweet disposition and her loving personality. So please, even if you're on the fence, come meet her. Just come meet her. As long as you have no other pets in your home, that's her only requirement. A fence yard would be ideal, but again, it's not needed as long as you are an active person and can get her out for several walks. Long one in the morning before the sun comes up and a long one at night before it goes down, maybe a little jog somewhere in there. And that would be perfect if you didn't have a fenced yard. Who's my sweet girl? Who's my sweet girl, huh? Who's my sweet disco? Oh, am I boring you? Am I boring you? Hit the share button, guys. Let's get her into her forever loving home. Let's make it all of our mission to get her into a forever loving home. Oh, what'd you hear? I know, you keep hearing the door out there. Hoping it's gonna be somebody come to get you. I know, I know. We love you, Disco. Please hit the share button, guys. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. There she goes. To assume her position where she spends hours a day. Please help us break this cycle. We don't ever want to see her like this again. We want to see her in a loving forever home. So please, please, if you do nothing else, Hit that share button. For our beautiful disco. 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com or 877 506 8100 if you'd like to meet our beautiful girl. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.